What's up everybody, I'm Jesse Showalter and in this episode, I'm gonna cover the basic foundational principles of creating a typographic scale inside of your UI design and your web design projects. And I'm gonna do it in three minutes. All right, let's dive right in and start building our typographic scale. Today I'm using Figma and I have an artboard on my canvas that's 19 by 20 by 1080. Nothing special, just your normal desktop kind of size. From here, I'm gonna go ahead and bring in some typography, some lorem ipsum that I pulled from somewhere else. We're using Roboto Regular and it's 18 pixels uh, size and it has an 18 pixel line height. And what we wanna do is establish a really healthy a really usable, a really nice base to work from, a foundational typographic element that we can scale everything else off of. That's what we wanna do. So to do that, we're gonna start applying our scale, not only in size, but in line height. Today, the scale we're gonna use is the golden ratio. There's a lot of different scales you can use. The golden ratio or times two would be the most common, but today we're gonna use the golden ratio. So we're gonna take the size of our text, and we're gonna go to the line height and we're gonna times it by 1.618. That's the golden ratio. When we hit enter, we get a little bit more space. What this is doing is it's giving a little bit more proportional space to the actual size of the typography. If you feel like that's not enough, feel free to times it again by 1.618 to get even more space in your typography. It's totally cool. But now we have our foundational typographic element. That's the base. We're gonna scale everything up off of that. So the first tool that we're going to use is size to create our scale. So what we're going to do is just duplicate a version of our text up here. We're going to type sub headline. Let's make it point text so it sizes correctly. Everything's good there. And we're going to take that and we're going to times it, you guessed it, by the golden ratio, 1.618. And it's going to size up for us. Let's do another one. Let's call this one the, the big headline or bigger headline. We'll times it again by 1.618. And then let's do one more that is a massive headline. And our massive headline, we're gonna times it by, you guessed it, 1.618. And to make it really massive, why don't we just skip one and go one times 1.618, the golden ratio yet again. This scale says a lot, right? Our massive headline stands out immediately way more than our body copy does. It stands out way more than our subheadline, but our subheadline does not necessarily stand out more than our body copy or our bigger headline. So we need to create even more differentiation. So instead of just using size, let's also now use weight to create contrast and dynamics within our typographic scale. This is a really, really great argument as to why to use a font family that has multiple weights, lots of weights that you can play with and explore. So at least five or six weights, if not more, it's a great font selection for you while you're designing your websites and your interfaces. The last piece of this for you to really lock in your typographic scale is to now actually pair this with a baseline grid. I did an entire another video about baseline grids. You can find a link in the card up in the right hand corner of this video and down in the description. But baseline grids mixed with your typographic scale are gonna create powerful layouts that make perfect sense and they look consistent and clean. Well, that's it. That's the basics of creating a typographic scale inside of your web and UI design projects. Super helpful basic principle that will help your design have rhyme and reason and consistency no matter how large it scales. If you have any questions about typography or scales or anything else I covered in this video, leave those down in the comments. I'll get back to them as soon as I can. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit that little bell notification icon so you know when a new video like this one comes out. I hope you guys are having an amazing week designing amazing things. I hope you're making amazing things. And I hope you're getting back to the basics. I'll see you in the next one.